Well, hello, everybody. It's your boy, Avery. And welcome to a bit of a different, I guess, recording session. Because I'm actually just literally laying in bed. Because I am just so exhausted uh, from just dealing with the things that I have been dealing with. And it's not that it's all stressful per se, but I figured that this would be perfect to record a podcast episode and just be able to get my thoughts out and just try to figure out what it is that I'm thinking about. (sighs) A lot's been going on and it's so weird to say that, that My birthday's around the corner. I'll be 27 October 4th. And the nightmare of potentially being banned, I guess, is possibly over. Um, I don't want to go into the details of all that yet. Um, I still have my team of people working on it. But things are looking better. Uh, Besides that, though... I've been trying to play test decks for the new format and I still don't know what I want to play. Like that's the hilarious thing. I don't know what I want to play, but I also feel like that a break from the game has been extremely beneficial for me just in rekindling my love for the game. And not that I hated the game, but sometimes you just do something so much and so long that you just get tired of it. And so being able to take time away to figure out what I want to play, let the new format shape out, and to also just, you know, figure my life out and get things in order is also good too. Um, The day that I'm recording this is Wednesday of this week, uh, the 27th of September. Um, And I had a bit of a health scare today, actually. It was either a heart attack or it was a panic attack, or some combination of the two, and I have no idea which one it was. So I'm still trying to sort through that and figure that out, Um, but don't worry. I mean, I'm doing okay, luckily. Um, Yeah, just a really weird day, but it's nice to know that, you know, obviously having a supportive group of friends and family is always helpful. Uh, And I did also finish the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty expansion, like, what is it now, a day, basically, after it came out? Finished it after midnight, so technically two days after it dropped. (sighs) For those of you who play Cyberpunk and you know how bad it was at launch, I played at launch, it wasn't good, went back to it after it was fixed, it was much better, and then Phantom Liberty and Update 2.0, I fell in love with. I don't know how I feel about Phantom Liberty. Like it, the the story's good. Don't get me wrong. The story's pretty solid. The endings are. <laughs> there's basically two endings, and they're not very good. And it's actually funny because I didn't crash once, and I'm playing on a Series X. I did not crash once until spoiler alert. At the end of the expansion, I got punched in the face. You fall down a flight of stairs, and then my screen went black, and my game crashed. <laughs> so yeah and it crashed twice because then i tried to reload my save and it crashed again it was really funny but uh yeah i don't know how i feel about the dlc right now but yeah i'm just i'm trying to feel like i'm in like five places at once trying to work this new part-time job which for those of you who don't know i'm in the pharmaceutical industry as a pharmacy technician the money's pretty solid it feels good to be working again um I just hate that whenever I try to go into the working world, it's like my health in some way, shape, or form starts taking a nosedive, like with the potential heart attack slash panic attack that I had today, which, I mean, if I'm laying in bed and talking into my phone's microphone, then I guess it wasn't a heart attack or maybe it was a mild one. I don't know. My blood pressure was 135 over 76 because where I work at, there is a uh, blood pressure station right there. So I was just able to check it. 135 over 76 and that said it was high so i don't know it was it was really weird but outside of that i've been trolling with uh elder lich it, it's a really bad build of elder lich that i saw on m 40s channel it's it's not impressive at all in the slightest but it's really funny and i was able to uh cheese a win against uh heroes 
So yeah, take that for what you will. But I have been messing around with like new Age of Overlord stuff. I'm I'm starting to feel like I'm leaning towards Unchained, maybe Flunder. Because any deck that can abuse Dimension Shifter is going to be really good. Um, it's just a matter of, I guess, drawing the damn thing. So, of course, you know, we never have those kinds of odds in our favor. The only odds that we have in our favor is whether or not, like, we're going to get nibbed. Because if you're playing Nibiru, you're going to Nibiru me every time. Like, that. there's, there's no question about it. But, yeah, I'm, I am exhausted. I am ready to be 27, October 4th. I'm ready to go out and party with my friends. And I'm, I'm just ready to, I can't even say live my life. I'm ready for this new format. I, I still don't know fully if like Konami is going to ban me. Um, because I am also banned from another card shop now that this original banning is over. Um, basically, the, the regional that I went to August 13th uh, at Cool Stuff Games Hollywood, I was... Uh, banned from Cool Stuff Games Hollywood. So um, I'm hoping to, now that that whole nightmare is over, I'm hoping to be able to talk about that in the future and and everything that was going on. And now that the team of people I hired to handle everything um, finally feels like it's coming to a close. And that, that is a huge relief off of my back. Um, and once I figure out whether or not Konami's actually going to ban me, then I think I'll, I'll take that step to say, hey, you know, this is everything that happened now that the story is straight, now that everything has been, you know, situated out. Um, because obviously I'm not going to tell my story to the community and then the community has their thoughts on it when I want to have the whole situation resolved and then go about, you know, discussing how and when and why and everything that went down. But I'm doing okay. And I hope that you're doing okay. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep on posting content as much as I can. I'm going to try and work more on some of the retrospective stuff. Because um, that series does do well on the channel. And I enjoy doing it. It just takes a lot of fucking work. <laughs> like, it's not something that we can pump out in a day. Usually, unless we're like willing to spend six or seven hours at our PC just editing footage. Which is not fun in the slightest, ladies and gentlemen. But... Guys, let, let me know what you think about this podcast episode. Let me know how things are going for you. This will probably be up by like the 28th because like I said, I'm, I'm laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep, but I wanted to have some podcast audio that I can go through tomorrow and uh, sharpen up and get uploaded to the interwebs. So guys, thank you for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again very, very soon.